Red alert for Meg. Megan pathetically knocked out from dirty game as lacks thick enough skin. Meghan Markle has been warned against running for the position of US President as the Duchess of Sussex would need skin thicker than rhinos to step into politics, Princess Diana's biographer has claimed. Leading royal biographer Andrew Morton has dismissed claims Meghan is eyeing up a career in politics. The author, who famously collaborated with the late Princess of Wales for his 1992 biography Diana, in her own words, acknowledged Meghan and Harry have tied links with prominent U.S. politicians and Democrat leaders since relocating to California. Speaking about the Duke and Duchess of Sussex public trip to the Big Apple two months ago, on the first day of which they met New York Governor Kathy Hochul and Mayor Bill de Blasio, Mr. Morton told Express.co.uk, they are celebrities with a royal background, that visit was testament to their pulling power. The fact that the Governor of New York and the Mayor of New York accompanied them showed that as far as they are concerned they can get political kudos from being associated with Meghan and Harry. They are a hot couple and they will remain a hot couple for some time to come. However, when asked whether these links with political leaders could signal a desire from Meghan to become a politician herself or if they are simply useful for her humanitarian work, Mr. Morton described the political arena as a dirty game which requires a thick skin. The author of Meghan, a Hollywood princess said, I think it's more, to do with her, as a humanitarian. I don't think she'd last five minutes as a politician, I mean it's a dirty game and I don't think they got thick enough skin for it. You'd need a skin a lot thicker than the rhinos Prince Harry is trying to save. Meghan never hid an interest in politics and even made public remarks on the then Republican candidate Donald Trump during an interview with Larry Wilmore two years before she joined the royal family. Last week, the estranged half-brother of Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, wouldn't be surprised if she ran for President of the United States one day. Meghan has made no secret of her progressive politics since her move to California last year. Thomas Markle Jr. said, she obviously has that personality and that determination and drive. It wouldn't surprise me, if she ran for president, he said. I just know, whatever endeavor she endures and puts her hands on, she will do good things. I wish her the best of luck, but absolutely if that's what she's going to put her sights on, she'll go for it. Meghan abided by the royal protocol and remained politically neutral while a senior royal. But after the Sussexes stepped down from her working roles within the firm, she started speaking passionately about voter rights and registration in the run-up to the 2020 U.S. presidential elections. Among her activities carried out ahead of the elections, Meghan Cold called voters with Gloria Steinem, as claimed by the feminist icon during an interview with Access Hollywood in September last year. In a brief video filmed for ABC's Special Time 100 in September 2020, Meghan also called the U.S. election the most important of our lifetime. While Mr. Morton doesn't believe Meghan will enter the political arena, other royal commentators seem more open to the possibility. Appearing on the 2020 True Royalties documentary Meghan for President, royal author Omid Scobie said, she has her eyes set on the U.S. presidency. Meghan is the embodiment of the American dream. One day we may see Meghan become president. After the Duke and Duchess of Sussex appeared on a special front cover of Time in September and were listed among the 100 people deemed the world's most influential by the magazine, royal commentator Richard Fitzwilliams told The Sun, this magazine cover has made it very very clear what's in the couple's mind, and especially Meghan's mind, and that's politics. It must be. I think there is absolutely no doubt that if they made the cover it's not about what they've achieved, but what they could achieve.